So for example number one, we should probably know that when we're taking the volume of a prism, remember that in our last lesson, we said that a prism had a um, polygon as a base, right? And they're kind of hard to draw too, so you don't worry about if you draw perfectly or not. So this would be some sort of polygon as a base. Um, this would be an edge. Remember that the corner is called the vertex. And um, the flat parts are called the faces. Well, this is called a poly this is a polygon base. So the polygon part is called the base. And then this would be called the, the face. The little rectangular shapes. Well you can also have what we call a slanted um in other words you have this um, polygon and it's slightly slanted And that is a different type of shape. But for this one, we're going to identify the height as the actual height. How high does it sit off of the ground? Okay. And then this would be called the base B. And this would be called H, the height. This is the base B. And this would be called the height. Okay. And while this image is not the best drawing, I'll, admit, I'll be the first to admit that. Um, All we're doing is we're taking this image and we're just kind of slanting it. Okay. So the volume for this is just going to be... <clears throat> it's just the area of the base times the height. So the volume on these on these prisms is always going to be the base times the height. So let's look at example number one. Um, we have an image that kind of looks like this. And so and we're given these dimensions. This is 3, this is 4, and then we're told the to total height is 2. Well this is a triangle base so the area of the base is equal to 1 half times the base, which doesn't matter in a triangle, 1 half, and the, we're we're gonna make some assumptions. I know that this is a 90 degree angle here because this is a Pythagorean 3, 4, 5. It's a right triangle but it's going to be one half times the base times the height and so this part right here that's my area of a triangle but that's the height of the triangle not the height of the prism times the height of the prism so then this would be one half times three times four times 2. Well this 2 will cancel with this 2 
and then I'm just left with 3 times 4 which should be 12 and this was all in centimeters so when you have centimeters times centimeters times centimeters this would be centimeters cubed so the volume of this prism is going to be 12 centimeters cubed let's do one more example though so that way you guys can see like it really does it really is the area of the base so we're going to do another example where the base is a different type of shape so we got an image like this and so this is a trapezoid and it's not necessarily going to be drawn to scale because I'm just kind of freehanding it here so this is a trapezoid base let me draw it a little better okay and they give us some dimensions they say that the height from here to here that's three centimeters and that this base here is 14 centimeters that the length from here to here is six centimeters and that the height of the prism is five centimeters so the volume of this is going to be the area of the base times the prism height well the base is a trapezoid so if I were to sketch this trapezoid out remember that the altitude height is 3 the long part of the trapezoid is 14 the short part of the trapezoid is 6 and so the area of a trapezoid is 1 half times base 1 plus base 2 and then that has to be multiplied by the prism height. Oh wait, my, my apologies, I almost forgot. The area of this is one half times the base plus, one half times the sum of the bases times the height of the trapezoid. And then that all has to be multiplied by a different height, the height of the prism. So that's gonna be the confusing part. So the volume of this is equal to one half plus 14 plus 6, 1 half times 14 plus 6, times the height of the trapezoid, which is 3, times the height of the prism, which is 5. This adds up to 20. 1 half of 20 is 10, times 3 times 5. Um, 10 times 3 is 30, 30 times 5 is 150. It's a volume which is three dimensions, which is going to be centimeters cubed. And that's it for example number one.